All right, so a couple of days ago, I actually finished my first ever manga, and you heard me right. Up until this point, I have never read and completed a single manga in my life. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not familiar with manga as a whole. I just haven't been exposed to it that often up until recently. Usually when it comes to stuff involving anime and manga, my preferred way to go about things is usually to always watch the anime simply because personally, it's just easier for me to get invested in a series with voice acting, music, animation, etc. It's just way easier for me to consume the media being presented to me, even though I do have the utmost respect for manga, light novels and whatever source material the anime is adapted from it's just a medium of entertainment i haven't delved too deep into until now which comes to another funny thing this is actually the first manga video that i'm ever making here on the channel so it kind of feels like we're killing two birds with one stone here with me reading manga for the first time and me making a manga video for the first time but to start off the first manga that I've ever read is commonly known as Goodnight Pun Pun or Oyasumi Pun Pun. Now, I can't stress enough when I say that this manga legitimately changed my life. Now, it might seem that I'm exaggerating, but I shit you not. I have not been able to stop thinking about this series ever since I read the final chapter a couple days ago. This manga seriously changed how I not only view the world, but just my perspectives on life and family and love and, and the stress that we go through on the daily. It's just it. this story impacted me in ways that I never expected it to do and i also never expected to cry while reading it either which comes to another first uh good night pun pun has managed to not only be my first manga i've ever read the first manga video i've ever made but also the first manga to ever make me cry which is just absolutely insane because i've never cried to like any type of book before in my life or comic or anything like that but Goodnight Pun Pun managed to, eh, you know, make me, make me, make me shed some tears, man. And, you know, I, I honestly do not regret it. And if you guys are wondering, I actually know the exact chapter I cried on. It was chapter 67. I'm not going to say what happens in that chapter. And the thing is, the thing that happens in that chapter isn't, I guess, well, some people might not see it as, as impactful as some of the other stuff that occurs in the manga but just something about that chapter and the scenes that happened into it managed to struck a chord in my heart and I just could not help myself but to cry, dude. Not only is this manga beautiful when it comes to its narrative and its storytelling and what it's trying to convey to the audience, but it's also beautiful with its artwork and how that's presented to us, the viewer. And one thing that I absolutely love about Pun Pun is how Pun Pun, the protagonist himself, is presented to us because Pun Pun and his family, like his mom, dad, and uncle, they are all drawn drastically different than the rest of the characters in the manga. Uh, Pun Pun and his family are actually drawn as birds, which I found a bit odd at first. I'm pretty sure if we've all read Pun Pun here, we all found it a little odd, but um as time went on i grew to really love and appreciate how different pun pun is presented to us and it kind of reflects his own mental state and how he himself perceives him uh, when certain events happen in his life as we see him go from a child to adolescence to adulthood and the story and the themes presented it's just absolutely not only mind-blowing but it's so relatable it's so human like i feel the story of goodnight pun pun can happen to almost everybody 
Now, I feel like I should preface this and take a step back before, you know, we go a little bit deeper into this, but this is not a happy story by any regards. I, I say, when I say things are beautiful, I do think it is beautiful, but I do not believe that this is a happy-go-lucky story in the slightest. I do think that this is one of the darkest stories that I've read, dude. If you are not in the right mind, or, you know, not in a good place right now, I definitely would say to stay away from this manga because this manga does um, delve into more sensitive and extremely, and I say this with the utmost, you know, sincerity, extremely dark topics such as depression, self-worth, abuse, suicide. You can name almost any dark theme presented in media in this series probably has it, and even though I would definitely suggest this to any fan of manga, like like I said before, um, this is the first manga I've ever read, and I absolutely have fallen so madly in love with it. But at the same time, I would say, to, you know, you have to kind of prepare yourself um, beforehand before trying to tackle uh, something as deep as Goodnight Pun Pun. But other than that, uh, getting into more, I guess, deeper into how I feel about the, the story itself. I absolutely love these human takes, these human realistic takes on how someone kind of grows up, dude. Because, like I said before, I do feel like the stuff that occurs in this manga can literally happen to, to me. Or, like, it could have happened to me. It could have happened to anybody, you know, such as... You know, their, your first heartbreak, you know, troubles at home, you know, your self-worth to society, you know, not knowing what is right and what is wrong sometimes, you know, and your dreams growing up and, you know, not being able to sometimes come through with them. Goodnight Pun Pun at its core basically follows the story of Pun Pun Onodera, which is, like I said, presented to us as a bird. And throughout the series, we see him grow up from a child to a teenager to an adult. And we see all the trials and tribulations that anybody, like I said before, could go through. You know, your first heartbreak, you know, dreams, naivety, you know, uh, troubles at home, stress, you know, puberty, growing up, you know, facing the hard truths of the world itself. You know, we see... Pun Pun literally grow up in front of our very eyes and I love that how it feels that we're right there next to him through his first love his first date his first time his everything man and it, may, it really makes you feel connected to him and it really solidifies that sense of relatability that Pun Pun himself has dude we we realize, you know, like we understand as the audience, like how it feels to get your heart broken, how it feels to, you know, maybe, you know, your dreams not coming true, the the feeling of isolation, of loneliness. Pun Pun's story, we are constantly rooting for him, or at least personally for me, I was always rooting for him to make the right decisions in life. And I feel like I shouldn't ask for that much because you know as a naive teen going through puberty which leads to pun pun one of his main characteristics being just detrimentally horny 24 7 which pretty sure a lot of us can relate just thinking with our dick rather than our brains sometimes you know pun pun himself he's not a perfect character by any means he makes a lot and i mean a lot of dumb stupid decisions that not only cost him friendships but just, you know, it really takes a toll on his mental state as a whole. And we see how these things that happen in his life can, you know, take him down a dark road that, you know, we don't want him to be on. Because as we grow, as he grows up, we see his appearance slowly change from this innocent, you know, cute bird to almost a devil or a demon almost dude and when i got to this part i'm not gonna lie i started to become a little scared of pun pun man he starts to become extremely violent and cynical and madly suicidal and it's just insane to see like the the spiral 
that this man has been down through common occurrences that can happen you know in anyone's life now i'm trying my best not to spoil anything too severe that happens any key plot points in the story and whatnot and key events because i do want you guys who have never read Goodnight Pun Pun to give this series a try, man. But like I said before, it is a dark and twisted and beautiful story that you have to make sure that you are in the right mind going into this because me, I was well off going into Pun Pun, but after this, I had a damn near fucking existential breakdown, bro, after reading that final chapter. Like, it's definitely like a once in a lifetime experience that i'm going to be able to read this manga like i will never be able to read this manga for the first time again dude and i'm so proud and like i'm so i guess happy in a way that pun pun was my first introduction into the world of manga and i'm kind of excited to kind of delve into more series like after reading this series i definitely want to try just getting into more manga in general and possibly making videos about them if you guys enjoyed this one like another series i'm already looking into is berserk which i'm pretty sure many of you are very familiar with like i'm pretty sure berserk is kind of a household name in the manga anime world like i don't think you need me to explain what it is but i'm very familiar with that as well i have seen the 90s anime of berserk which is kind of my only i guess time i was exposed to berserk so reading the manga right now um i actually am really enjoying it and i don't know man i feel like this is kind of a, a new journey for me in a way a new journey into the manga world bro and uh good night pun pun is definitely something that i'm gonna remember bro i'm gonna remember probably for as long as i live dude um i'm not gonna lie i'm finding a little bit speechless right now when thinking about it dude just there's so many great moments it's i really want to talk about but at the same time i really don't want to spoil it for you guys so please guys if you haven't read goodnight pun pun before do go check it out but you know just be prepared beforehand for everything that happens but yeah everybody if you made it this far thank you so much for giving this video a try i definitely tried really hard to you know cover everything like i said before this is my first ever time actually reviewing or discussing a manga here on the channel so you know the video format might be different i'm trying my best i'm trying uh to you know format my thoughts and opinions in a way that would fit a style like this so like i said it's the first time for me for a lot right now but if you guys did enjoy just Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button guys it really helps the board a lot and also make sure to leave in the comments down below let me know like manga suggestions what you thought about goodnight pun pun as a whole and just anything man but i appreciate you guys to the fullest um i hope you guys have a great ass day today it's been your boy ivory and i'm out peace <laughs>